Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is so incredible. And my blood sugar is so low right now. <laughs> um, this is so much bigger than us. Awami is something that is more like a community spirit than anything else. And so I just want to start by saying hi hane washite, um, mitakiyape, uh, Dana Thompson. Um, Awamni was a 20-year project where they built a park for us on the banks of the Hahawakpa River, downtown Minneapolis. Um, the Minneapolis Parks Foundation and the Minneapolis Parks Board uh, funded the whole thing, uh, fundraised the whole thing, and created a space for indigenous people in Minneapolis. And we want that to be the same all over this nation. <laughs> We were able to name the restaurant Awamni because of a book that my Dakota grandfather uh, helped to write with his best friend, Paul Duran, where the waters gather and the rivers meet helped preserve the indigenous names of so many important uh, waterways in the Eastern Sioux. Our ancestors are here with us tonight, with our staff and all of us, and in this theater. And they're with us every day in that restaurant with the rest of our incredible staff. We have over 75% indigenous staff members that we adore. Thank you to our staff, every single person that works for us for both our nonprofit and our for-profit. And I just want to thank the James Beard Foundation for all the support that you've given us over the years. It's been incredible. Sean and I are so proud to sit on the uh, James Beard Investment Fund uh, for the Leadership Committee for Black and Indigenous Entrepreneurs. And, and through our work of the nonprofit natives.org, uh, we plan to also insist in helping restaurants like ours open all over North America by other Native people seeking access to their own ancestral foods. So thank you so much. Woo. Thank you guys so much. You know, when we opened up Awamani, uh, we had no idea that we were going to be what we became. And it was such a huge team effort. Um, I just want to thank all of the team that did brought us to this point. Um, you know, when we opened up, we coined the term ha uh, hashtag 86 colonialism um, because it was really a statement um, because a lot of us, people of color from everywhere, have been affected by colonialism and we just went through centuries of racist bullshit. And we have, this is showing that we can get through that, that we're still here. You know, our people are here. Our ancestors are proud tonight because we're doing something different. We're putting health on the table. We're putting culture on the table and we're putting our stories on the table. And we hope that one day we can find Native American restaurants in every single city, including this one. As we're standing right now. Thank you. As we stand on the land of the Ottawa, the Potawatomi, and the Anishinaabe, you know, we hope to see restaurants that can represent that. We have 576 federally recognized tribes in the U.S., and we're one of very few native restaurants. Um, if you're out in San Francisco area, visit Crystal Wapipa's Kitchen. I know you're out there somewhere. Um, and just please, you guys, support some indigenous initiatives out in your region. We all need it. We can do this together. White supremacy does not like being dismantled, but we can do it together.